Arabs who lived in the American continent before the arrival of Christopher Columbus. was inhabited by okay I invited to share this information with other parents and friends and be part of the historians of the future well with your future adult time we are going to stars okay the most permitted Colombian culture before the arrival of Christopher Colomb were the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Chiefs, and the Incas. People who existed on the American continent. Now, we are going to find the meaning of the word pre-Columbian. The word pre-Columbian has two meanings. Pre uh, means before, and Colombian it is related with club. It is so tiny lines that before the arrival of Colon. Very good. Now I am going to explain where is located the four uh, cultures. That is the Aztec culture, the Mayan culture, the Chichu culture, and the Inca culture. First of all, we are going to start to know the American continent. Okay? The upper part is North America. The central part is Central America. In the part of down is South America. Okay? Now we are going to start. Okay? As we can see the points of color blue, these are located the four cultures. Now, uh, we are going to go to the city of Mexico and we are going to learn about the Aztec culture. Okay, as we can see, this is the city of Tenochtitlan. This culture is, it was located of north of Central America. They were located in the Valle of Mexico for 2000 years, from 30 uh, 25, okay? And found in the city of Tenochtitlan. Look, this is the city of Tenochtitlan. It's very beautiful to know a uh, very place, right? Now we are going to know about the Mayan culture. It is okay in the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay. Look. Okay. The Mayan culture, it is located in the Central America in the um, 4th and 9th century. They were located in the south of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and later they were located in the Yucatan Peninsula. And they stand out of for creating the Mayan calendar. Look, this is the Mayan calendar. It's very beautiful, right? Now, we are going to close. Okay, as we can see, this is the part of Yucatan. Okay, now we are going to move to Colombia. This is the country where I am live. Okay, now in Colombia, it is located the Chicha culture. The Chicha culture before Columbus arrived. They were the Chichas, three large families that populated the Colombian territory. They were located in the Colombian territory, okay? Now, and also the center of the country, in the snowy mountain range of Santa Marta, in the region of the Amazon, Putumayo and Caquita rivers. They used the hieroglyphic greeting. And also, it was the place where there was abundant gold, as we can see in the image. 
This is a piece of the color gold. It's very beautiful to know the history of all the countries, right? Now we are going to move to the final part. Okay, now we are going to go to our final part, okay? We are going to go to the Inca culture, okay? Okay, look, this Machu Picchu. We are going to remember before two um, quotes. We are going to remember that this period was uh, of Peru, also in Bolivia. I don't know where it's located. This in this part, Bolivia, and also Ecuador. Now we are going to start with the definition. Okay, the culture. It was located in the Republic of Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, a region of Chile, and the northwest of Argentina. This happened five to, uh, sorry, 500 years ago. They dominated their empire from Cusco, where Machu Picchu still exists. As we can see, this is the city of Machu Picchu. I love to, to travel of all the world and I wish that I am going to visit all the places of these wonderful four cultures that is the Aztec, Mayan, Chifcha and the Inca, okay? Now, did you know that these cultures, they have many things in common? They were polities, that is, they worshipped to many gods. Okay, it's my source principle or main of work was the agriculture, the fishing, and the hunting. Okay, they had a system of social class. Okay, based in the monarchy. Okay. They have no language in the architecture and they are practicing the game of ball. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you so much for hearing me and thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful channel that is the historians of the future. Thank you so much for joining my class and see you in the next one. Goodbye!